All right, so let's do another example using mass conservation. Here we have a tank. And in this tank, from point A, uh, water, water <clears throat> is being pumped in, and it's, it's, it's being pumped in here, and it's coming out at C. But at the same time, uh, from B, we have oil coming in, okay, oil. And what, what goes on here is the oil and water come together in the tank and they mix and they move out. Um, they, they leave through C, both of them. And the question, uh, the problem gives us uh, the volumetric flow rate of B is 0 0.03 meters cubed per second. Uh, the specific gravity of the oil coming in through B is equal to 0 0.8. Here at A, we know specific gravity of water is 1, right? Uh, but they give us the volumetric flow rate <coughs> of A is 0 0.1 meters cubed per second. And here at C, they give us the diameter, which is this diameter, right? Um, is 0 0.3 meters, and let's let's just assume this is a tube, so it's kind of like kind of like that, right? The the water flows out of there, or the water and the oil together. Um, and QC here, we don't know, but we do know that it's the velocity at C of both mixtures times the area at C, and we'll call this equation one. We'll, we'll need that a little later on. There's a couple ways to solve these problems. The first way, um, let's consider, let's just consider um, the water only. Okay? <clears throat> well, we know from the Reynolds transport theorem that the m amount of mass of water coming in to the system, or the control volume, must be equal to the water coming out. So we can say QA which is also 0 0.1 meters cubed per second, is equal to QC of water, right? The mass of water coming in must be equal to the mass of, of water coming out. And let, let's call this equation 2. Now consider the oil only, just the oil. QB which is 0 0.03 meters cubed per second, is equal to the mass of the oil coming out of C. Okay, so QC of just the oil this time. <clears throat> now we know, forget the oil, forget the water, we know whatever comes into the system must be equal to whatever goes out. So QA plus QB is equal to QC. And if that's true, we can add equations 2, and this is equation 3. So we'll add 2 and 3 together. So QA plus QB is equal to QC total, right? The, the water and the oil. And that's equal to the flow rate of the water plus the flow rate of the oil, right? QA plus QB is equal to the stuff coming out here at C. Okay. And QA and QB are given, right? 0 0.03 and 0 0.01, so 0 0.1 plus 0 0.03 is equal to QC. We figure out that QC is equal to 0 0.13 meters cubed per second. Okay? So that's, that's that. And we can actually plug QC into equation 1 to get velocity, right? So QC, we just found out here that it's a 0.13 meters cubed per second. So 0 0.13 meters cubed per second is equal to the velocity times the area. The area here, remember, it's a tube, so it's pi over 4 times the diameter squared. And we find out that the velocity is equal to 1.84 uh, meters per second, okay? That's the velocity of the mixture of the oil and water coming out of the system, okay? Now the question also asks for 
uh, the density of the mixture. So what's what's the density here at C? So let's figure that out because well we know the density of water, we know the density of oil, we can't just add them together because they don't add equally. There's this mixture of oil and water here and we need to figure out what that density is, okay? So let me let me draw a line here. We know that the mass that went out is equal to the mass that went in, right? Whatever mass is coming in is equal to mass coming out. That's Reynolds' transport theorem. Uh, mass flow rate, actually. And the stuff that's coming out, well, the only thing that's coming out is here at C. And we know mass is equal to rho times Q of C. Right, pretty simple. Into the summation of the mass flow rates coming in. So we have one here at A, water coming in, and we have another one here at B of oil coming in. So we can say it's the mat it's the density of water times Q of A plus uh, the density of oil times Q B. Oops. And then, um, well, we can actually use uh, here we have this mixture. And remember, remember our specific gravity is equal to the uh, uh, weight or the the specific uh, grab or specific weight of the fluid we're studying over water. <clears throat> so if we come here and and actually also recall that gamma is equal to rho g and then you know this would just turn into uh, s g is equal to the rho of the fluid over rho of water right because the the gravities cancel out the gravities are the same the densities aren't okay so if we came here and divided everything by water, okay, and watch this carefully, we get, um, here we're going to get the density of the fluid we're studying over water. Well, isn't that similar to this? Density of, of the fluid we're studying over the water? Yeah, it is. Well, that's specific gravity of the um, of the mixture. Oops, a little crooked. And that's equal to, well here it's just Q of A, right, because the, the densities of water cancel out. Um, <coughs> plus um, 0 0.8. Where did that come from? Well, remember it's, it's a fluid over water and that's equal to specific gravity, and remember they, they gave us specific gravity of oil here, 0 0.8. Uh, 0 0.8 times Q, uh, QB, that's the volumetric flow rate of B or the, or the oil. And we know all this, we know all this. We know, um, I'm sorry, the, the QC is supposed to be here too, right? We just divided that. Um, so here, let's solve for SG. We have QC, right? Let me figure that out over here. We have QA, we have QB. We plug all those in and we get specific gravity of a mixture is equal to, uh, I got about 0 0.954. Okay? And remember, our specific gravity is equal to the specific weight of the fluid we're studying over specific weight of water. And remember, gamma is equal to rho of the fluid times gravity over rho of the water 
times gravity, but in this case, you know, the gravities cancel out. So we're stuck with um, a row of the fluid or the mixture. I'll just call it mixture because that's what that's what we called it here, right? We're trying to figure out that over the row of water. Um, and uh, and that's equal to the 0 0.954 and and so let, let's multiply by the density of water on both sides so we'll get rho of the mixture is equal to 0 0.954 times density of the water and we plug in density of the water we'll get rho mixture is equal to Actually, let's just leave it like that. That's what my paper says. So, so whatever density of water we're given in any temperature, we plug that density in, and we get uh, it's going to be equal to point the the mixture the mixture of oil and water here at C is going to be equal to 0.954 of whatever the density of water that comes into A. Okay, and that that's the and that's the uh, density of the mixture of oil and water.